So planets become more interesting. Moons become places to go and revisit. But there was a whole other goal, and that was the search for intelligent life. Still is. In the universe. Oh, man. It is very reasonable that maybe in my lifetime, but in your kids' lifetime, somebody's going to find evidence of life on another world. And the logical places are going to be under the sands of Mars. Okay, but this would be microbial life. This is not. Well, yeah, but still, it would change the world. Then you would say to Mr. Microbe, Ms. Microbe, do you have DNA? Are you a whole nother different? No, I get that, but that wasn't what SETI was about. No, no, it's still not. That's fine. Knock yourselves out. That's not their thing. And because if we found such a signal, it would, dare I say it, change Change the the world. world. So SETI Institute keeps listening. We had an exhibit at the Hayden Planetarium before we rebuilt that was narrated by William Shatner. And it was about the search for life. And I, will, I remembered the quote because I thought it was a brilliant sentence. And he said it in his sort of pause acting way. The day we discover life will signal a change in the human condition that we cannot foresee or imagine. <laughs> That's pretty good. 